In this video, you will learn how to assemble a wastebasket pullout. To assemble this cabinet, you will need the following tools and supplies. A power drill equipped with a Phillips head bit or a Phillips head screwdriver, a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet, and a staple gun. While an air-powered pneumatic staple gun will make the job easier, you can also use an inexpensive manual staple gun. We tested the Aero Model T50 Heavy Duty Staple Gun with success, and this model can be found for under $20 at most hardware stores. You'll also need the appropriate 3 8 or 10 mm staples for your staple gun, as well as a bottle of wood glue, which will form the primary bond that holds your cabinet together. The wastebasket pullout uses the door of your existing base cabinet. Start off by marking the spot on the door where the shelf meets the door. Unscrew the hinges and remove the door from the cabinet. Remove the hinges from the door. Now measure and mark a line 3 eighths of an inch above the line you previously made. Place the front of the pullout tray on the line you just made. Measure the sides all the way around to make sure you have an equal distance so that the unit is properly centered. Fasten it in place using the included wood screws. Be sure to double check your spacing to make sure that nothing shifted. Then finish fastening it in place using screws in the pre-drilled holes. Apply a bead of wood glue into the groove on the back and also into each of the dovetail joints. Slide the side pieces of the pullout into place using the groove as a guide. Use a rubber mallet or dead blow hammer to make sure that everything is aligned and then use a staple gun to secure it. Repeat the process with all four pieces and then slide the bottom shelf into place. Now apply wood glue into the shelf groove and dovetail joints on the back piece of the pullout. Slide the back piece into place along the dovetail joints. Use a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet as necessary to ensure that everything is perfectly flush and then secure it with staples. When installing the slide rails, you'll want to slightly elevate the rear of the rail. A scrap piece of toe kick works perfectly for this. Secure the rail to the front of the cabinet as shown, and then measure to make sure that you have an equal gap between the rail and the side of the cabinet from front to back. Once you are certain that it is lined up properly, secure the rail to the back of the cabinet.
Repeat the process with the rail on the opposite side. Now, extend the slide rails and place the wastebasket pullout onto them. You may find it easier to do so if the back of the cabinet is slightly elevated, as this will help the slides to stay extended. The peg on the slide rail should find its home in the pre-drilled hole on the underside of the pullout. Finally, don't forget to apply your bumpers to the back side of the door.